Hi, it's Matt, and today what we have here is a Danawa. I believe it's called the Cadillac. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. It's, oh, I'll get the name of it right in, in the description. Now, what's unusual about this wa is it's not just a wa. It comes with a distortion on board, and it has like a really nasty high octave addition to it. And the way you get the, you access that is with these two buttons. I put a little uh, jewel thing on here just to make it a little easier to press it down because it was hard to, it's my attempt to try to make it easier to s switch between this, these. Now this button right here on the left side, it, uh, it turns on your distortion on and off. And this button right here switches between these two banks. We're gonna get what, to, what the banks are. We have a bank of buttons on this side right here and a bank of bottom of buttons on the other side and they look, wow, they're actually different. Didn't really notice that. We have on this side, we have uh, 70s funk, D, E, F, octave on and off. And then on this side, we have 60s rock, A, B, C, octave on and off. Basically what I usually use it for is I turn the octave on one side and the octave off on the other so I can switch between the banks and then I just turn the distortion on and off with the other button. So this button turns it, the distortion on and off and this one switches between which bank. It's kind of a lot inside of a pedal. Of course it runs on nine volts, which is from the tip right here looks like a car i think it's called the cadillac i'm not quite sure the distortion is really nasty high and troubly troubly in fact i suspect that this thing may have caused some damage to my amps in the past i definitely did blow a uh, a speaker out using this i just think it generates such high frequencies i really wouldn't recommend using this uh, except for maybe at home and practicing uh, it's pretty junky I wouldn't pay much for this uh, I think it sounds kind of neat it kind of reminds me of a fender blender pedal this one since it's plastic it's cracked and so that's another reason why I wouldn't pay too much for these I believe I bought this for $20 at a music around we have like a really uh, ghetto type of music around they're always buying stuff that's like junky and stuff and i actually like it. it's actually my favorite store because i can always find something weird in there you know for 20 bucks i think it's it's pretty neat uh now if i run it through a, a decent amp it doesn't sound too bad but it's really loud and uh, when you step on the wah it just it's like it, when the distortion's on it just gives a huge boost to it and it just sounds really nasty kind of like a John Frusciante uh, solo at the end of Danny California that's kind of what it sounds like it's like Wah! you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear it cheap construction I wouldn't recommend buying this for I wouldn't spend any more than 30 bucks on this uh, just because it's so cheap who knows maybe mine's just messed up somehow but I would say use this at your own risk. This is a really nasty pedal. It's kind of neat for a Fender Blender sound, but you can't really adjust it to distortion. So it's pretty much always full blast distortion when you use the distortion. Now it does work as a conventional wah. I'd say it works fairly well as a conventional wah, but the issue would be you're gonna probably end up tripping on one of these buttons and causing some unwanted noise to it. But I can't, it's really hard to do, uh, go through just all the wahs. But maybe I will. We'll see what it sounds like. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I do with it. Use this at your own risk. It's a nasty pedal. And I'm not going to sound the greatest on it. I'm going to try to do a good job. It's kind of like a Hendrix sound of, of a pedal. like Because, you know, Hendrix used to put, like, two fuzz faces right in front of each other and with the octave it's just so nasty it's probably nastier than anything that hendrix ever used but it's it kind of has that kind of 60s psychedelic sound but it's a incredibly 
incredibly nasty pedal. Yeah, but I hope you enjoy my demo of it. Neck pickup. We're using the neck pickup for most of this. Alright, here's what the first wah sounds like. We're on the 60s rock bank. And so this will be wah number A. Click that one on. So this is just going to be a nice clean wah from the 60s side. what I think it sounds good though. 60s Rock B. Let's hear it. <laughs> Sixties rock B, sixties rock C. Let's see what that sounds like. Alright, 60s Rock B. Alright, now we're going to turn the octave off, which is this last button, and we're just going to hear the distortion on this side, pure distortion. Alright, now we're going to do the Wah pedal, it's gonna be on 60s rock A with the distortion. Okay, 60s rock, well actually I think the 60s rock C was my favorite. But let's just go through all of them. Distortion with the wah pedal. <laughs> Was okay, now let's do it on 60s rock B with distortion. So 60s Rock B sounded definitely nastier than 60s Rock A. 60s Rock C with distortion. You know, I can't tell if the distortion sound is changing with each of these switches. Yes, I'm pretty sure that the distortion changes the same, it's just the wah character changes and it makes the distortion sound different. Now let's try it with the octave on with the distortion. You can only access the octave on when the distortion's on, so Turn that on, it's gonna get nasty, especially if we use the wah with it. Alright, so we're gonna put it back on A. That's my clean sound right now, I know it's trashy, but... Oh, 
that's extremely nasty. Oh my god, that's so nasty. 60s walk, rock B with the octave and distortion on. Alright, 60s rock C with distortion and octave. Once again, the octave's only accessible with the distortion on. It's kind of unfortunate because this is just so over the top. <laughs> So we went through all the 60s rock sounds on this. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. So now we're going to get to the 70s funk, D, E, and F. We're going to just do it systematically. We're going to switch the bank. We can see with this light over here. Hope you can see that. We're just going to press this button. Now we're on the 70s channel, I guess is what they call it. Uh, D, E, and F. We'll put D right on there. Okay. Let's go through the wah, each wah. Wow, that sounds mellow. Not bad. All right, now we're going to do 70s, 70s, uh, E. <laughs> e. We're on 70s, E. Not bad, now we're on 70s F. F. Now we're gonna do it with a distortion on, uh, starting with A. I mean, 70s rock D. Oh, it looks like my octave was on. Alright, 70s rock. E. Oh man. Alright, 70s rock F with distortion. It's nasty. Go back to 70s rock D distortion with the octave on. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be super nasty. Alright, 70s rock E with octave and distortion. <laughs> Holy 
Holy shit, that's just killing my ears. Whew, so nasty, so nasty. All right, last one. 70s Rock F with octave and distortion. Let's hear it. Oh my goodness, what a nasty pedal, oh my gosh. Some of these settings sounded better than others. It's actually more sounds than I remembered. Sounds pretty neat, but man, does this thing get nasty. Holy moly. Uh oh, oh god. What did I do? It's, oh my god, I think we're shorting out. Oh, beautiful. All right, well, I hope you found this informational. Holy moly. That is one nasty guitar pedal. I don't know if I recommend you buying it. But I, uh, hey man, whatever floats your boat. It's kind of neat, but man, oh, that was killing my ears at some point. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is Matt. Have a great day.